not too bad. Let me shut it off, actually. Oh. I'm a little bit deaf now, but... <laughs> Yeah, so not too bad for an old girl, that one. I've had to change the gearing a little bit because it was just a little bit too fast. We've uh, sorted that out, so hopefully now we can use the topper that I've built for the back. Obviously, the three-point linkage is now functioning. Uh, that's now all on just like a switch. We either got just the left or just the right or both at the same time. If I stay very still, you can see it moving down nice and slowly. Which, to make that faster, I may end up putting a boost regulator in there just to try boost the voltage a little bit, but we'll see. Um, shut that off for a second. And the plan with this now is that ball in there will just be... You can just undo it by hand and put it into there. And from there, we come over here, where we find this little contraption, which was going to be a rear-mounted three-point linkage mower, then found out it was a bit too heavy. So uh, ended up going for a tow itch instead, which then you just put it on a put it on the ball and you can use the three-point linkage to lift it up and down. Uh, this works all right. I just need to rig up a battery system to start the thing. Right now you just put some jump leads straight onto the starter motor, but it, it functions. So yeah, there's that. And uh, yeah, so not too bad for an old, how old is this mower now? Uh, 1983, I think, is the age of this mower. Going by the original engine, I'll have to go look at it. But yeah, 1983, I, I am assuming. Obviously, as you've seen previously, I've got the big wheels on there. That gives it more speed. I've had to put the inch shafts inside this gearbox had to convert it which which you've all seen anyway then we got bearings on the on the shafts to help carry the weight of the wheel um, yeah so it's 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 quite an aggressive little mower now and I mean it was pulling th it was pulling 25 because I doubt it was 30 it was doing 25 up a hill and it was doing it without a bother but at the same time I mean little what Fiat 500s Fiat 127s, whatever they have, they have tiny little like mower engines, so I'm not surprised this thing does 30 quite happily. Um, I think the limitation with the speed is just the gearing, because when you get to a certain rev range in the engine, it doesn't want to rev anymore, because it will go up there nice and easily, but once it gets to, it must be around four and a half, five thousand revs, which is too much for this engine, that's when it starts slowing down, you know, that's when the acceleration slows down, so... Uh, if I did want more, sp well, I don't want more speed. The gear ratio was wrong as it was. I had a five inch on the front and a four on the back. That was giving me 30 mile an hour definitely, and it probably went to 35 to be honest. Um, which I've now swapped those pulleys around. So I've now got four and five. So that now I've got better ratios for towing that mower because it was all, it was just a little bit too fast with this, but hopefully that'll be slow enough to do the job now. And then we've put the snow plow on the front. Not to, you know, not because it's fun. I mean, it's functioning. I've had to in the past when I've done snow plowing with it, which a few photos will come, come up now. Um, I found those springs were just way too weak to do any kind of plowing, so I ended up welding it solid so it didn't actually pivot anymore. Which, when it did that, you could do 15, 16 mile an hour snow plowing, and it was a lot of fun. This little mower until you hit a snow drift, and then it stopped you dead, and that's why it's slightly bent. I think where I hit a just yeah, you can see the bend in the middle there and it's a little bit bent on this end where I hit a that was where uh, yeah I hit a snow drift and it stopped it dead it didn't yeah. so that's on there not because of any particular reason other than I can't turn the thing without any front weight because of this locked diff as soon as there's anything on the back on the three-point linkage it will not turn it just goes in a straight line so that's just giving me a little bit of weight on the front um, if I decide to have something a bit less aggressive I may take the plow off and just slide something onto the onto the box section because it's only one by two inch box so we'll see what happens with that so yeah so the mower's up and running again which i'm happy with goes like a dream does exactly where i goes exactly where i point it at the moment so not too bad the only thing i think the tires got a slight flat spot as it was bobbing a lot and i'm sure you'll see it in the footage.
bad. Still going quite well. Not too bad for an old one. I think it, I think I saw 30 miles an hour, but I'll have to look back at the footage. Not too bad for the old gal, anyway. So we'll go. We'll, we'll jump back on it and yeah, little beast. I do. We'll jump back on and get it back before I blow it up. Oh. I better put the camera away. <laughs> oh dear. Good old girl, really. There you go. I was gonna say, after driving that for 20 minutes or so, you kind of forget just how nice it is to have suspension again. It's, oh, it's just so nice. I'm being shook about, but it's, oh my God, man, it's so comfy, and that goddamn mower. <laughs> 